हेलो एवरी वन मैं सर सोमी मुखर्जी आई ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम बिरला इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी मैसरा रांची एंड करेंटली आई एम अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ नाइपर मोहाली इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल टेक्नोलॉजी प्रोसेस केमिस्ट्री एंड आई कंसिडर इट टू बी प्रिविलेज टू बी ओवर हियर बिकॉज आई नेवर थॉट दैट आई बी इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कैमरा एंड माई जूनियर्स विल बी लिसनिंग टू मी सो टू बिगिन विद जी पैट इज एन एग्जाम विच ऑल द फार्मा ग्रेजुएट्स एस्पायर टू गिव विद अ वेरी गुड रैंक which you need for your masters so i feel that qualifying gpat is not the only criteria you should always target for achieving a good rank for that the first and the most important subjects are pharmaceutics pharmacology and pharmaceutical chemistry so pharmaceutics is a subject which is very easy to score because you can remember the things if you keep on revising them at a go and you should always be prepared with pharmaceutics in a manner that even if you make a minor error or you cannot attempt a question in ecology or medchem then you can score well in the uh, portion asked from pharmaceutics so lachman is the main book that you should refer for pharmaceutics and the most important part is the industrial pharmacy syllabus from the fifth semester according to the uh, syllabus given by pci that includes uh, tablets capsules aerosols parenterals and uh, cosmetics the entire part of the ip syllabus in the fifth semester and uh, you should always be thorough with all the tables given in lachman because they tend to give all the questions that are more or less there in lachman but uh, we tend to overlook them because we feel that reading the entire tab- chapter or the entire book is not possible so we go for notes that are available online or from the coaching classes but i feel that you should always uh, go for your own handmade notes because a day or a week before the exam you cannot uh, bring the entire lachman or credit to dhakke tum nahi pad sakte ho kyunki wo possible nahi ho pata hai so ek uh, 30 page ka chapter ko you have to reduce to a 3 page ka chapter and you can just revise the important points or the questions asked or the highlighted topics so for pharmaceutics you need to read uh, lachman very well and mainly all the tables given over there the examples that are given over there tablets and capsules are the major important part from pharmaceutics because every year you'll get one or the other question from tablets either the tablet defects or the tablet coating or the soft gelatin hard gelatin capsules the minor details that are over there the preservatives used etc uh, next coming to aerosols parenterals and all uh, there are types of glasses the minor details that are there you need to be very well revised with all of that because uh, yes you can't uh, lose even a single mark or like four marks for a question that is asked from pharmaceutics because uh, it's very easy to score you just need to re- like remember the points well and it's entirely asked from kedipi party i am mean, sorry from lapman next uh, pharmacology for pharmacology uh, it is a subject that you need to memorize very well it's uh, difficult to re- re- like remember so you need to revise it every day keep an hour for that like revise the classification every day in the morning because they give a, a single question from classification every year and uh, the thing is that when they give the four options they'll confuse you in such a way that you'll tend to make a mistake so practice mcqs even if you read a single paragraph then practice any mcq available from that topic i guess solving mcq is the only uh, funda that can help you to improve your rank practice as many as M- uh, as many mcq as possible or like do not keep a single mcq uh, remaining before you go for the exam from any book anywhere any like wherever you get an mcq solve that and uh, for pharmacology the most important topics are ans they ask a question every year from autonomic nervous system cardio um, cardiovascular cns uh, chemotherapy and uh, antimicrobials now for antimicrobials the questions are generally asked very easy because uh, the questions are generally uh, like directly asked from the mechanism of action of tetracyclines or chloramphenicols or uh, they keep repeating the questions asked from uh, anti tubercular drugs either the side effects of the drugs or the hep- like hepatotoxicity related to the drug or the antidotes for poisoning and ethambutol rifampicin parenzin uh, like these questions are very like they, they are the most important topics which they keep repeating every year next is uh, pharmaceutical chemistry 
it's a subject that people tend to ignore because remembering metronym for G part is not that easy. And uh, even if you study the entire syllabus of metronym, it's very difficult to apply it because uh, remembering the entire structure for all the drugs, its IPSC nomenclature, its synthesis, the starting products, the catalyst, uh, it is difficult. So if you can remember well, then only remember the main uh, nucleus of the drug and uh, keep your mo major uh, focus on organic chemistry because it's easy to score. Uh, they ask name reactions every year and trust me, it's very easy to score because if you remember the name reactions, it's a direct question asked that uh, A reacts with B to give C, what is the name of the reaction? And um, that's it. And uh, other than that, the entire plus two syllabus from organic that is uh, the SN1, SN2, E1, E2 reactions, the various carbocations, carbonions, and the GOC, that is the general organic chemistry, which we used to prepare for our JE or NEET, the entire uh, plus two syllabus. And uh, the only thing that will help you is solving MCQs, because I feel that uh, that was the only thing that helped to improve my rank. And um, you should never leave an, uh, like a certain topic uh, from which you didn't practice MCQ, solve as many as MCQs like from wherever possible. Solve the entire enum that, like including all the previous year's papers, the important topics. Uh, use PU, Shripat Prakar, Pearson, and all the books that are available online for MCQs. Leave nothing or like no single topic from where you have not solved MCQs because personally, I feel that. Uh, we all can uh, remember or study the topics, but when we go for the questions, we tend to make a mistake. And when you uh, solve it at home, you'll think that this is wrong. But when you go for the exam, then you'll remember that this was wrong at that time, so we won't do this wrong again. And uh, the advantage of CBT is, uh, like on the first go, you'll have to attempt, like you can mark a 100 wrong. But if you attempt it again, you'll have to mark a 100 wrong again. And the advantage of CBT is, like on the first go, you can attempt, like you can mark a 100 wrong. But after that, when you check the answers, then you can find that that ki ha ye galat tha, so you can change the option, which is not possible in an OMR sheet. So there's always a chance. So keep practicing MCQs, and you'll tend to avoid mistakes for that. The next is pharmacognosy. Personally, I used to I I never liked that subject because I used to feel severely bored. But it's a subject which can help you score, like. It can increase your marks. If you expect 200, pharmacognosy can help you make it to 225 or 230 because the questions are easy, uh, especially the chemical tests. Read the chemical tests very well. If and if you can't remember the microscopy of the like all the drugs or the family name and stuff, but chemical tests are easy to rem remember and they'll help you uh, to score the marks because they give normal. Uh, test to distinguish between the two samples and it's very easy to score they will not ask minor details of the exact color that is formed or something it, it's actually nicer but for GPAD they will ask the basic chemical test and uh, also uh, what I felt was they will never give you ki iska family ka naam bata tulsi ka family kya hai ya amla ka family kya hai they will give you the chemical constituents of each drug if you refer to the GPAD 2021 paper the paper which we had given a few months back it had a questions from alkaloids and asked about the quinoline or isoquinoline constituent of the drug which I guess uh, majority of students would have made a mistake even I had made a mistake over there because I didn't read the question properly and I had made a mistake now after that uh, I could uh, like go back and check the answers then I realized that I had made a very big silly mistake so I could rectify for that you need to go through the active chemical constituents of each drug very well and uh, the next comes to the like next I come to the minor subject that is uh, microbiology, biochemistry, pharmaceutical jurisprudence, and um, NDDS like Novel Drug Delivery System Biopharmaceutics. For uh, I uh, yes, so there's one more major subject that is physical pharmaceutics, and people uh, like I I personally felt that viscosity is the favorite topic asked by NDA. Every year they'll give a question from physical pharmaceutics which uh, comes from the topic of viscosity. Either the instruments, like you need to remember the absurd uh, names of the instrument for measuring the different type of viscosity. And uh, the uh, various viscometers use the different types of fluids, their examples and also certain numericals from Martin. You can refer the Martin for physical pharmaceutics syllabus because uh, that covers the 
entire syllabus from physical pharmaceutics there are questions that are asked in gpas for biochemistry and microbiology please do not waste much time because the questions are not uh, like me a few questions are asked and you just need to remember the various tests for the various diseases the enzymes uh, carbohydrates uh, proteins vitamins and fats uh, the various examples of the like classification of various type of perhaps carbohydrates or proteins or whatever and uh, same for enzyme the mechanism and things related to that uh, you should practice more mcqs from this topic so you'll understand what kind of questions are asked and you'll be like able to grip the subject there is no requirement of revising biochemistry or microbiology each day uh, it's better to invest that time in chemistry or ecology or pharmaceutics or even pharmacy and there's one more important subject that is pharmaceutical analysis so uh, pharmaceutical analysis is a very interesting subject which i used to love uh, for that uh, the major important topics are uv ir uh, nmr mass and uh, chromatographic techniques now for uv ir nmr you need to remember the instrumentation and principle very well the questions are generally easy it's not that difficult if you uh, like see the questions every year asked from analysis it's more or less the concepts are same the various instruments the principles the materials used and uh, things related to this and uh, certain calculations are asked from ub um for niper like after qualifying uh, gpat when you sit for niper exam then there are more calculations and conceptual questions which are asked from analysis but for gpat it's not that difficult it's easy to score and uh, other than that i don't uh, for jure students read all the uh, laws and schedules and uh, notices form numbers and all it's easy and uh, remember the uh, schedule a b c d and things those are very easy and uh, you can get a question and you can attempt that and you'll get four marks for that so and each mark and uh, like change your rank plus minus 50 so ha huh, when i was there last year on the other side of the camera i was also equally nervous as i was more nervous and i thought that hum se nahi ho payega itna kuch but uh, ki pat ko rocket science nahi hai so ho jayega and i wish that if you all put in your efforts correctly the next year uh, you'll be over here on this side of the camera and your juniors will be listening to you so all the best uh, study well revise the topics daily and practice as many mcqs possible from wherever you get them practice endless mcqs make your own handmade notes and keep on revising